All right. And we are uh, we are starting. Bum 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 bum. That's racist. I'm a farmer. <laughs> that's farmist. That's no. That's that's a literal job. That's farmer. Fa Damn, that's racist. Can what up, guys? <laughs> 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 what up, guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video. And today we don't have the actual podcast mics because my dumbass forgot to charge them. So I'm gonna Feel have like to recharge them. And yeah. But Ugh. today we got the little clip on mics right here. Don't worry about it, kid. Production will still be up, damn it. Yeah, I've noticed the know some of the comments been saying, is it me or is their production getting like up? Sure. And I was like <laughs> Someone needs to record these sidewalks, all these panels. Hey yo <laughs> Hey yo Production might be going up in video quality, but the studio need a little work. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. Bro, but this is the first one I want to get into, right? All right, that's right. So, Jump right in. So there's a crazy prediction for the year 2023, right? Oh, what is it? So uh, there was this uh this fortune teller named Baba Vanga, right? Ooh, sounds like Baba the Tut. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all, right? <laughs> but um, and she was famous for her predictions, right? Okay. And basically, all of her predictions would come true and shit like that. So, at this point, she's, like, kind of a credible source. Damn, so what she had in store for us? Bro, and she said, in the year 2023, there's a big country that will carry out research using biological weapons on people. Oh, shit. Yes, bro. And, and the weird thing is, is that, and she said... Also, doctors will conduct experiments on people, causing the deaths of thousands. Shit, we about to get into biological warfare. That's crazy. Bro, bro. And the weird thing is, is that, like, when I think of them testing weapons out on people, I'm thinking, like, obviously nuclear warfare. You know, like, yeah. like how they test out nukes and shit like that. Or... It could get into some like creepy science experiment, like you know the Russian sleep experiment. Yeah. It could get into some shit like that. That shit was insane. Bro, we're like, we're like they test out the next cure to something on people, and then we're all fucked. Would it be testing it on that country's own people, or would it be like, we're in a war? Bro, here's the thing. What fucking country is it? Hmm. I feel like it would be us. Bro, bro, if it's I, us, dog, that's fucked, bro. If it's us, that's fucked, bro. And the crazy thing is, is that there's another there's another prediction uh, with The Simpsons, right? Yeah. And it said that I believe in 2023, there will be a war declared between China and America. Nah, that's wild. Damn. So it's fifty fifty. So her prediction and The Simpsons prediction right now are looking. That's wild. Kinda, bro, cause like, all right, so and they you put two credible to, sources. You put two and two together, right? You put two and two together. You're like, all right, so, The Simpsons, they said China and America, and then a country, a big country, as a matter of fact, is gonna be testing out weapons on people. So that leaves us. Russia, China, Ukraine, or us. And at this point, I'm like. Yo. It sounds like we are the sole factor in this. Bro, I'm like, yo, what the of fuck? whoever we testing shit on. Uh, bro, we could really, like, like start a whole new, like, Russian sleep experiment. Even worse, bro, we, there could be, like, a virus yeah, that breaks damn out. Damn well, we're going to be like, nah, it wasn't us. Exactly. We're going we're gonna to say that, oh, China gave us another COVID, you know? Mm-hmm. And then it, and then we're gonna be like, yo, that could be how it starts. We blame shit on China again, and then China's yeah. like, no, we, we've enough. had enough. We, we we've had enough. We're fighting back. Yeah, bro, what the fuck, dog? That shit worries me, bro. Shit, that 2023, shit. Twenty twenty three. I'm about to, <laughs> <laughs> bro. Nah, nah, nah. Don't say that. Don't say that. Only in GTA, kids. You know, only I had to GTA. pay five hundred dollars for that. Only, only in GTA. <laughs> That's why you had to pay five hundred dollars for that in GTA. 
That is crazy. It, it I was like five hundred or five five thousand. No, I think it was like five hundred. You had to pay regardless, which is crazy. It's, you had to pay unless if you like you switch your money from like cash yeah. to your bank account. Literally, with oh my god, bro. All right, so there's this crazy theory that basically. Oh, Johnny. All right, but basically, what if everything behind you disappears, but then reappears when you turn around? Oh, so it's like fucking, we're kind of in like the Matrix. It's like yeah. the chunks re-rendering. Bro, nah. bro, because I'm thinking, I'm thinking, all right, all right, so right now I can feel this wall on my back, but what if that's just my brain percepting that there's a wall behind me? It's like there's a bathroom behind us. Yeah. But that bathroom just ain't there. Literally, bro, like anything outside of these walls right now, could just not exist. Nah, because I'd be like walking out my room sometimes. I'd be like, damn, I forgot there's like a whole ass world out here. I swear to God, bro, like you'll walk outside and you're like, and it's just like, it's crazy to think that you could be in your room, right? And then outside of your room, there's a whole fucking world. And the graphics hit all at once, too. Bro. I'd be like, <laughs> damn. <laughs> bro. That shit's crazy, though. It like blows my mind because I'm like, I'm like, yo. Like, your brain can really trick you into doing some Just stupid shit. Just not thinking shit. about it. Isn't that where there's a tree falling, or if a tree falls in the woods and no one's around, does it make a sound? Yes. Isn't that where, like, where that same, like... Yes, because you know. nobody sees the tree, so therefore nobody should hear the tree if it falls. That's fucking crazy. Yeah. Imagine, damn. Well, <laughs> we really live in a simulation, though. Think about that it. That, like, goes the same thing. So, like, so, like if there's a door closed... If there's a door closed, what's behind that door is not of your knowledge until you open that door. Shit, it's a mystery box. Bro, bro, so like so like, all right, theoretically, what's you you think you know what's behind this yeah, door, right? Because it's my room. But until you open the door, you don't know what's behind the door. Yeah, I don't know where everything is. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> that shit weirds me the fuck out. And there's um another theory, right? So this one is a banger though. I, I like this. I like this concept. So let me let me just look at it real quick, just so I can make sure. All right, I get it right. So the kid, there's a kid that went missing, right? Okay. And he had a theory on dimensions. Oh shit! He's one of those kids who went missing. Yeah. And it wasn't like some some regular, oh, I just got a theory, yada, yada, yada. Nah, Kid went, went into yeah. detail, bro. Detail Fuck. about about how there's multiple dimensions inside of a dimension. The government got his ass. Bro, yeah, bro. Him. So he goes, into, he goes into detail and explain that there is a dimension past 3D, which is 4D. Oh, yes. I think I seen like a video of that. And he was saying, and he was saying, basically, what's a, what's a, what's a, um, cube to us in 3D yeah. is not a cube to people in 4D because that's like made up of six cubes. Yeah. And and that shit blew my mind because I was like, I was like, wait, so you're telling me that everything we see in 3D, people in 4D would see differently. Yeah. Right? And then he goes on to say that there's dimensions inside of 4D. So it goes on to 5D, 6D, 7D. And it, and it goes on and on and on. And he was basically saying that there's infinite dimensions inside of a dimension. Damn. So eventually... That's a crazy fucking concept. Bro, bro, so eventually, it will get to the point to where we wouldn't even recognize our universe outside of, like, 4 and 5D. Fuck, what would that even look like, though? Exactly, bro. What would they... Fuck. Cause, Cause, like, all right, think about it like this, right? No, I think the way I remember it being explained, it was like, it was kind of in Minecraft in a sense. It yeah. was like you move left and right, and that's your like one D. You can't see like no, side no, no. to side or something like that. See, cause this this is his explanation, right? He was saying he was explaining two D, right? Cause two D yeah. is made up of a bunch of one dimensional dimensions. Okay. And so. 3D is made up of a bunch of 2D dimensions, right? That's how come we can see, because 2D, 2D is flat, yeah. right? 
and we look at it like this wall right here, 2D, is flat. Okay. But you add on four other 2Ds, right? And then you get a whole 3D, yeah. 3D dimension, like, view and shit like that. And he was saying 4D is like you add on a bunch of three-dimensional views. Okay. And then, bro, bro, that shit fucked with me. And the kid went missing. He went missing, bro. Like, nobody's ever heard of him since that video. He gotta be. Bro, it's like, I'm like, He yo. was definitely on to something. Because what he said, what he said was some shit that somebody in, like, high school shouldn't even be thinking of, to be realistic. Damn, how the fuck he even bro. think that? That's shit. crazy is he went missing. Exactly. That's what's crazy. And nobody's heard of him since. It's like you don't just drop some shit like that and so then, then just disappear off the face of the earth. Literally. Like, what the fuck, bro? Um, and so, so. A lot of things we could have discovered. Exactly. Exactly, bro. Um, and so uh, there's another theory based, uh, based uh, upon, like, reality and shit like that. So there's a theory on the reason that we can't understand pyramids, right? Why? And that's because they basically left no no evidence behind. They 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 had such an advanced understanding of the universe that they realized that using materials like plastic, metal were all like useless. So they oh, used shit. they used bio they used biodegradable I believe it's called. Isn't that where? Yeah, yeah. yeah biodegradable materials. That because they had an understanding of the universe and why it was bad for nature but to then, use. I thought ores biodegradable and would like break down on its own within time, though. Yes, exactly. You know how long it's been since the pyramids were made? It was a long time, but they're still there. The, ex- the pyramids, but not the e- that, but not the tools that they used oh. to build the pyramids. Yes. Oh shit. Yeah, bro. That's why that's why because the theory is is that basically they were so advanced and evolved that they understood the universe and that they and that they understood that using that using harmful materials to get what they wanted would literally cause harm to it. Damn. So why'd they leave the pyramids behind? What was their reason? Nobody knows, bro. Nobody fucking knows. Yeah, they just dropped like the biggest hit and then dipped. I swear to God, and it's like it's like all right. It's not like the thing about the pyramids is that it's not like some fucking Stonehenge where it's like just big rocks. Like, yeah, no, it's like it has to be precise. Yeah, there's fucking thousands of tons of bricks laid up on top of each other. Nobody knows how they got in that steep of angle. Nobody knows how they even got to be able to be transported through there Shit. it's just like it's insane exactly bro it's just insane and the and the time that it took them to build it honestly shouldn't have been shouldn't have been that quick it's like they're hiring mexicans <laughs> you can't say that <laughs> <laughs> oh my god you can say he can say that, but I can't say that. Oh my god, that's crazy. You need- <laughs> no, 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 no. Let's not say that. Let's not say that though. Uh, but uh, that shit's crazy, bro. Because I was like, what the fuck, bro? Now the pyramids, the concept of itself is just an insane thought. Yeah, yeah, bro. You know what? Like, really fucks with me though is that like, so you know the music industry and shit like that, right? Yeah. The fact that we're glorifying, like, like demons and shit now. Like, if you look at most music videos now, you have somebody dressed up as a devil, dressed yeah, up as Satan a demon or some shit. Yeah, like, um, what was his name? What was his name? Uh, like that one guy that went to the Met Gala. Uh, what was his fucking name? I said, you gotta search it up. I'm not good with big artists. Um, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. Um, well, there's plenty of examples, right? Like the baby. Yeah. The baby. His, in his, uh, in one of his music videos, he literally started off and he was dressed as like a devil, like a goblin. 
like some sort of dem- demonic creature. And at this point, I'm starting to think that maybe they're trying to se- send signals to like us. Telling know. us, and you always hear, you always hear the musicians go, "Oh, music industry, music industry is show shit. Don't sign, don't sign." Yeah, there's always someone complaining about something. Yeah, like what if the reason why they tell you to don't sign is because if you sign that that contract, you're signing away your soul. Shit. Literally. I mean, hey, the money's worth it. Okay. <laughs> this motherfucker. You telling me you ain't signing your no, soul? No, nigga. For like, no. It's, you telling no. me you telling me no. you won't do it? No. <laughs> to be no the big star? No. 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 I mean, what do you got to lose from it? Your soul, literally, your soul. I don't know. Soul for an amazing time on earth. Your soul sounds like a blast. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yeah. Music industry can hit him up, bro. Music industry can hit this motherfucker up. Not me. Not me. I can hit them notes. <laughs> no, I can't. Oh my god. Um, all right, so uh, uh, on to the next topic, right? So, bro, something that I've never understood, right? Is so you know the Ouija board, right? Hello. Hold on. Cause at first I was like, is this shit like low enough? It's it's fine. It's fine. You're fine. All right, but you know the Ouija board, right? Before you start off with the Ouija board, so there's actually, um, my family had, like, owned, like, some type of, like, house in Ocala. Yeah. There was a Ouija board behind a shed. Legit in that home. They didn't know about it. They found it. They threw it away. Good. And that shit came back. No, 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 I promise you, I promise you, because this is back when we had, like, the PlayStation 3 and GTA was still on it. No, bro, no. It came back. Bro, because, like, I I was going to say, I was going to say, right, so my theory on the Ouija boards is that, like, what if the original set of Ouija boards were actually like like haunted and basically had a curse on them right okay but then somebody saw a little bit of profit in that and then they started making manufactured ouija boards that's why some there's like an original ouija board out there yeah so like that's why somebody that's why sometimes people will buy these ouija boards from walmart and nothing will really happen because they're fake yeah they're fake ouija boards and the originals are either passed down through, genera- through generations or they're burned. But do they ever really burn? Bro, bro. Do they? Bro, and so now the, the, the industry's the industry's way of like maybe maybe they've snuck in because because we've uh we've glorified like Ouija boards. Like like most people don't think anything happens when you use a Ouija board. Yeah, they think of it as a joke. Yeah. And that's because there's so many of them. Why would you sell something that's so demonic? You know, yeah. like, like, but, but what if that's how yeah. come that's how the original snuck through? You know, that would actually make perfect sense because what's the best way to bypass something when everyone thinks it's fake? So you can get away exactly. with haunting the few, and then everyone's like, "You're lying." I was like, "I used a Ouija board before. That does shit." Exactly, happen. bro. Shit. Exactly, bro. That shit fucks with me, dog. I was like, what the fuck? Damn, I bro? low key wonder what happened to that Ouija boy then. Bro, cause all right, so similar story to yours. Um, my mom, my mom, uh, she was, she has, she has a couple of children, right? Yeah. And so, uh, well, my grandmother, my grandmother had a couple of children, and she said that, and I can ask, I can ask my aunts to this day. Uh, they basically said that they bought home a Ouija board because they were just like teenagers or whatever. Yeah, so they were just fucking around. Yeah, and so they start playing with it. And my and my aunt and my other aunt tell me, and they go, they go, yeah, we were we were trying to like use it and everything, and then all of a sudden it spoke to us. It nah. spoke to them, bro. Nah. And 
And they said, they said immediately, like, I'm not talking about, like, the little move and shit. Yeah. I'm talking about it literally spoke words to them. Fuck that. Bro, and, and the crazy thing is, is that they're by themselves at this point. So, so, like, they know it's not one of them. Obviously. Nobody else is in this room besides them. And so they're like, wait, what the fuck? So they tell my grandma, and she immediately grabs the Ouija board and takes it off. She like she like puts it in the car and drives to the furthest dump and throws it away. Because she was like she was like that burning shit doesn't always work. So she was like, I'm gonna just get rid of it far as fuck. Yeah. And she was like, then if it comes back, then we got a problem. Shit. Bro, like that shit. Oh my god, bro. That shit fucking terrifies me. That's why all my friends say Say, bro, you should do a Ouija board video. I'm like, like you got fuck me fucked that. up. <laughs> like, I got history. Yeah, I'm like, and that you shit got me fucked not up. Not following me. Yeah, I swear to God, like, like, and I know that there's that that like theory that a ghost can can literally follow you through generations. Like, there will be ghosts that have been haunting a whole entire generation of them. Okay, but like, imagine, imagine how fucked up that is. No, why actually. am I getting punished for exactly. some of my great? grandfather did yeah like i ain't a part of this go punish him in his lifetime why are you coming after me I swear to god bro. so i'm like i'm like okay if i re if i bought a luigi board again and then i redid that shit and then somehow it fucking just the spirit came back like i bro bro i don't even know what i do bro like do you know what i would do though what however many likes we agree to no, no Ouija board. No uh, tomorrow. No, no, no. no. We're, we're gonna express no, ship I the most hit, ancient Ouija board we can find. I I could hit a million likes tomorrow on YouTube, and I still wouldn't buy an Ouija board. I want you to know that. Like that's crazy. Like I would I would literally I shit you not I would pick up some shit and eat it before I fucking buy a Ouija. It's a good thing blind phones, blindfolds and gifts exist. If you buy Surprise. me an Ouija board, if you buy me an Ouija board, I promise to God. I, I swear on this and I mean it cold heartedly. I will stuff that bitch back in here, mind you. Never see you again. I will move states. I will move states. <laughs> he said he's going to bury this on my property <laughs> to my, to my family's generation. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I will move states. I will change my addresses. That way, nobody could contact send me some shit like that ever again, bro. <laughs> like ever, there will be no more podcasts, no more none of that. He's ending everything. <laughs> yeah. I will change my name to fucking uh, Miguel. Yeah, Miguel. Miguel uh, Maximus. That's that's that would be my name. All right. <laughs> Fuck. That's the fakest government name I've ever heard. <laughs> Miguel Maximus. Oh, there's a Miguel shit. Maximus out there. <laughs> We are not sorry. Your name sounds fake. <laughs> oh my god! All right, so um, so basically, right? You know what bothers me? What? So you know Kristoff from Frozen, right? Yeah. You know Spin from Frozen, the reindeer. Yeah. So, reindeer. have you reindeer. ever looked close as at at, at Kristoff? Why does that look like look, Anna? Look, 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 look! You see that fur, right? Yeah. Just look at the fur. And then, if you paid attention, Sven, uh, like, Sven. Oh, don't tell him he's wearing, like, Sven's dad's fur. Uh, bro, it oddly looks the same as Sven's fur. Oh, shit. Bro. He's wearing reindeer fur while his best friend's a reindeer. Bro, bro, and there's a crazy theory to that. There's a theory that Kristoff's crew ended up killing Sven's mother and making it into that fur coat. That's fucked. And that's why Sven loves him so much because he has the scent. Because uh, Kristoff had... Mother. Yes. That's fucked. Yes, bro. That's so fucked. Yes, bro. That shit. That shit's crazy. But also at the same time, my boy Kristoff be taken care of. Yeah, he takes care of. But like, but like, just what the fuck, bro? Damn. 
Because I believe in the movie, he had Sven since he was a little baby. Yeah. And in order to have a reindeer since he was a little baby... The mother had to be out the picture. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Bro, bro, that shit, that shit was... That shit's just fucked. Because I was like, yo, what the fuck? Nah, that shit, some shit like that reminds me of, like, the original, like, Disney actual stories, like Cinderella. Because apparently in the original Cinderella, it's like... The other sisters who couldn't fit, they all like squish or cut their foot to fit. Yeah. In the shoe. Yeah. It was gory as shit and everything. Uh, I believe it. Fuck. In the original Lion King, it was like, it was like a bunch of gore as well. Like, I believe it was very like, like not child friendly at all. One, who came up with that? Two, who's a mastermind to switch it up? Oh, yeah. Because. They made a I don't know how you can see something it. like that and be like be like that's a children's movie. Let's make it right now. Let's do it. Yep. Right Cut now. It. That's right a wrap. Now. Children's movie right there right now. You know what? Like um fuck no. Who what fucking movie was it? It was Snow White. I believe there's like a dark theory behind Snow White or some shit like that. Oh, like the whole elves or not elves, the dwarves? Uh no, that she was dead. That she was dead, and that's why the door. Then the doors are like, are like, um, her guardian angels. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah, bro. Like, like, that. like that's fucking crazy. Cause the the opening scene is pretty fucking wild. How she's just like laying there, forever sleep, eternal oh, sleep. Yeah, no, that just means you're dead. Yeah, like that's a kind way of putting it. Yeah, no, no prince's kiss is gonna wake you up mm-hmm. from. An eternal sleep. What, like, what the fuck, bro? All right. Um, then the last one for today is basically, you know, the last. Have you heard the theory of the last Ronin? No. Ronin? So basically, the Ninja Turtle theory means that all the other Ninja Turtles are dead, and Mikey's the only one left. Oh, shit. Yes, bro. And the crazy thing is, is that he's constantly tormented by the memories of his brothers. That's fucked. Bro, and and you know, and you want to know how, like, each of them died, right? So, basically, uh, uh, fuck, uh, Casey and Splinter, Casey died, um, well, no, not Casey died, but, uh, where the fuck did I put it? Okay, okay. Okay, so basically, this is how it went, right? Splinter and Donnie died trying to fight off the foot ninjas, right? Damn. Raphael died after dinner with Casey trying to fight off the foot clan as well. So they all just losing left and right? Yes, bro. And Leo died fighting alongside Casey to protect the city. Damn. And even Casey died himself, bro. You remember the, the ski mask the yeah. ski mask guy with the that they used to have the hockey puck or whatever? Mm-hmm. Bro, he even died. Damn, they all got fucking killed. So the only ones left were was Mikey and April. Shit, did they ever act the revenge? Yes. Oh shit. Bro, but that's fucking crazy. No, it's crazy bro. though. That shit, that shit would traumatize my fucking childhood, bro. And this, and this comic book came out, so it's like confirmed, by the way. Oh, it is. Yeah. So it's like a hundred percent they're dead. Yeah. If anything, that would make an amazing anime point, though. Yeah. Yeah. Like imagine that anime the main character Mikey, he going through them level up. Yeah. Every single one of them dead. Yeah. But like, it was uh the comic book was issued in twenty twenty, I believe, of. Of the last run. Yeah. Which is fucking tragic, bro. I was like, Dang, imagine Damn, your bro. whole childhood. It's like these Ninja Turtles are just dead. One <sighs> dead. Another dead. Fuck no, bro. Oh, my God. But look. got to hurt. Appreciate each and every single one of you. Thank you guys for staying here. Click the like. And, and we get weedy boys. No. 
hit the subscribe button. Let's get to ten k, ten k subscribers by the end of this year. And Hopefully, you're the Ouija boy. No fucking Luigi Luigi board, bro. I will. I will. No, no, no. You heard it here first. I will stay the night in a haunted house before I fucking buy a Ouija board. You got me fucked up. We'll do that. Yes, I'll do that one. I'll do that one. What? (laughs) (laughs) No, no, no. no. (laughs) But look, uh, click that like button, hit the subscribe button. Thank you guys for tuning in, and peace out. Am I the only one who looked up and that?